Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Gold has been holding its uh, support from last couple of days and I'm going to uh, present add on to my previous analysis on a t smaller time frame. This was basically uh, intended and this is basically intended to fine tune entrance uh, to the long term trend. I still believe that we are in the long term bearish trend in gold, silver, US dollar index basket currencies but where exactly we need to enter so I'm still fine tuning it. I initially I thought that probably the completion uh, the uh, correction ended right over here but the price action that has followed after that is not actually supporting that anymore. We have seen almost two days of the uh, support holding in this region. As you guys can see almost three days now one two and three days of price holding at that support and this is not good news at least for the small time frame analysis so we're going to be looking at it I'm going to discuss gold and silver euro Canadian dollar and British pound and we are going to discuss small time frame analysis that will include 15 minute chart analysis as long as the long term trend is concerned as you guys are well aware of it and I have posted uh, numerous times that I'm considering this as we this whole as leading diagonal as wave 1 and wave 2 and I'm considering this whole price movement as right from the top to right over here as wave 1 and then wave A, wave B and wave C. So we are basically fine tuning smaller wave 1 and smaller wave 2 and we are going to discuss about it. Let's get to it. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I do a lot of study when I am uh, and I mean it when I say a lot of study I do use different tools and one of them is right over here I do not intentionally always present those tools for you guys so here is some of the time first of all I drop a uh, 8 equal percentages of the 100 percent right so it's not five energy analysis it's basically uh, percentage analysis so as we have drawn the eight equal divisions we can easily find uh, a very good support uh, resistance coming in and support coming in and then we have again resistance coming in and a support coming in this is 62.5 right over here uh, once again we can see that the prices drop and we have a lot of support coming in and of course this was 100 percent intentionally this is supposed to do like that once prices have gone we have considered this price movement and we can see that three by eight is very important uh, resistance and it's coming in uh, and then once again what's worrying me really important is right now is that if it was uh, an impulsive price action and then the price should have followed on quickly instead instead we are seeing uh, that price right now the correction right now or the price movement right now is sitting on 12.5 percent this is probably giving an indication that the support is holding so this support area uh, this one is very very important for the upward trend to continue reason because we also can consider this as a base forming and then we can consider it as wave 1 wave 2 wave 3 4 and 5 so basically a flat correction where a, 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 a finishes right over here a b c a zigzag a flat correction and a five wave correction out of which we have already completed wave one wave two is completed and wave three four and five is remaining i guess it's going to probably we are going to reach some uh, eruptive price action because we have seen a lot of price uh, base forming that's what i'm thinking right now we are going to keep a close eye on the price action 1782 and i personally have entered into a trade and i've put my stop loss right over here because I believe that any price falling below that that will in indicate that we have created a top right over here um, so I have taken a chance and I have come out of the the trade that I entered right over here actually and I added on to some position right over here uh, actually I had entered the trade right over here and then I added the position somewhere over here so this one is of course went to into a, bit, a little loss so I, I have closed on to the all the bearish positions right now and I'm looking maybe we will get lucky and then we will see a good percentage. Uh, as far as the price target is concerned we are looking towards right now 62.5 where we can find uh, also finding a support. So I'm looking towards initially uh, another uh, two boxes away from this. And uh, I have also seen a couple of other analysis that I'm going to indicate. First of all here is silver and then although we can see that uh, 
the price has come up and in supported in this area I had found a support in this area it looks to me right now that that was only wave 4 and this was wave 5 now what I have done is that I have uh, uh, done some study and in, in that study there is an interesting opportunity I have divided the of course use the percent percentage uh, tool WD GANs percentage tool on this and we can see exactly if we find the resistance at 50% which is not a big uh, issue you know we can find support at 50% what's happening right now is that within that 50% we are finding support above 25 it means if this is a hundred percent and we are finding support at 50% which is and you guys can see price is already struggling right now the price is already struggling this was a sharp price action this is not so sharp price action and it's all coming before above 25 percent or 50 percent of the price movement at this one so this is probably indicating that we are probably finding support right here or this well uh, at this area and then of course looks like that the we are going to create a um, double support at this right right over here so we have already completed wave four right over here i'm considering this right now as wave one wave two this hole as wave three this hole as wave four this as wave five and looks like we have complete we are going to complete a zigzag pattern or w x y a single or as a double zigzag pattern you can consider that single uh, correction that we are actually looking for another zigzag pattern uh, so that's why for the shorter time prayer time frame analysis I wanted to bring it uh, into your attention let's have a look at Euro uh, Euro is uh, giving a little different indication uh, we have seen kind of uh, very nice price analysis uh, I'm could it be possible that we see a little pullback and then upward price movement that is uh, possible or we can actually simply continue from over here both I'm looking that for uh, this can happen another possibility here is that a lot of times uh, this happens when we are actually forming a flat correction right over here we can also form as wave A, wave B and wave C and then the next larger wave can actually be this way so it's a little trickier for uh, Euro uh, but we'll keep both our our wave counts in mind uh, let me think one more thing I think my gut is telling me that we probably will see this more uh, but prepare for both of things right uh, these are both alternate counts giving an indication that we have not completed the uh, correction yet this one at least right euro is getting a little tricky so I wanted to present both uh, cases there's the less chance of side price movement and it looks like there is we are going to see uh, we have seen a simple single zigzag and then a B and C right over here another zigzag this looks more likely as compared to the flat correction so my point mean being here is that we have not completed the correction yet and then we still have some time uh, we might see some eruptive price action today and what we have seen in gold and silver giving an indication that we might see something like that let's have a look at Canadian dollar uh, once again if you look at Canadian dollar we have seen a lot of quick price action uh, let's have bring if some of you guys forgot then you're considering this as wave A, wave B and wave C and we have seen very nice price action so far uh, and then we have seen a correction right over here it looks like initially we were stating that the correction is complete although it looks like correction is not complete so there is a possibility right now I'm considering this Canadian dollar to be more likely side wave I am not expecting it more to be uh, creating a this part sort of price movement so uh, with uh, with euro we are kind of looking towards a double zigzag with Canadian dollar I am looking towards probably something of this nature uh, that we have completed a wave A we are going to complete wave B and then a sharper wave C so that's what I'm looking for Canadian dollar uh, British pound okay uh, I I am hiding some information with Brit, uh, with the British pound as far as two target is concerned. Uh, give me a moment, and I'll indicate what exactly I tried. 
so using my studies I found this tool that you guys in front of saying this length is very important uh, and I've gone on to that length and uh, uh, I went into basically history of Canadian British Crown and I, I found this length to be very important now what you're looking for right now is very very interesting and first of all we can see that when prices went off it created at a stop there of uh, final resistance right over here once at 50 percent the other one right over here at 87.5 percent and then it fell off at four points one two three or four so basically 50 percent of the almost uh, four by seven what I'm talking about so it basically if you can consider it as seven points went up and it came down four blocks within that four blocks prices went up and created a double so it went up four points four blocks for of 12.5 percent and then we can see that finds this 12.5 uh, about a 50 percent support as well of this price movement this is the main point of this one that I want to indicate that if you consider this as a hundred percent then you're finding support right over here and this is an important indication we have not seen a follow through right over here in the price action and right now we can see that we are seeing some resistance at 25 so there is likely that it will actually continue and the upward target for British pound that I'm looking for is more likely to be uh, like this one and when this that happens uh, remember you are considering this whole price movement as a ending diagonal we consider it as a, a five wave structure we were considering it as wave one wave two wave three wave four and then wave five and uh, we saw that probably wave five is going to be double top right over here some kind of truncation it looks like that truncation is not occurring instead of you're going to see a full wave and we consider can consider this as a five wave structure correction and another five wave structure that's what I my aim for that is as far as price target is concerned for British pound this is not the price target we can move the price target right over here this red line was I was using it to uh, find this uh, price value uh, and using this if you use that actually you can find that we are some finding some very interesting support in right over here once uh, and also resistance right over here once again we have another resistance coming at the same point uh, we have another resistance coming at the same point so I found this tool to be very uh, to be a little more accurate as compared to uh, the Fibonacci analysis uh, keep on playing with WD GAN tools although I'm unaware of the the full uh, knowledge of uh, WD GAN I try to use the uh, mathematical part of it Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.